Hi everyone, my name is Juliet Ambadi and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on here, thank you so much for stopping by to do the right thing. If this is not your first time, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So today I have a story time. I know that one of the, like, I think the most popular video that I have done here on YouTube has to be one of my story time videos okay i think i've just done only one story time and it was around my wedding night if you have not seen it you can go and watch it okay okay i'm gonna watch it i may link it up somewhere if i forget please just check check my videos you'll find it there but today i have another story time to it's not necessarily like a full story time story time more like lessons to learn from the things that i'll share and i hope that you learn a thing not to through your course of watching this video. God bless you, real good. Thank you. All right, so welcome back. So I want to find a way that I can share this point or share this story without really sharing how I met my husband or how we met. And the reason is because I plan to do that video with him or to do it separately and whether it's by myself or I'll love it to do I'll love to do it with him so that we can both talk about it and you can get to know from different perspectives. I don't know when I'm going to do it. I don't know what time maybe this year, maybe next year, maybe ten years from now, we've got it whenever, but I hope to do it someday whenever God directs me to do it. I think it took like three years for me to finally realize come this is the one for you please Julia this is this is the person you have always prayed and hoped for all your life so it took me about three years but in the period of time before that period like in the period when he was doing the pursuing and asking and all that there are certain lessons that I learned from him that I would like to share with you and I hope that they inspire you they bless you and maybe you can also share with someone else who it will be a source of blessing for so that's basically what this video is about one key thing that i learned from him has to do with persistence like he was persistent he knew what he wanted it was a loving persistence it was like you know, you know that kind of persistence where god is persistently chasing after someone that he wants to have a relationship with now that I think about it, that's how it felt like. It was loving, it was patient. You understand, it was patient. And the, from the get-go, the first conversation that we ever had, he made his intention to know that he has seen me, he said that I'm going to be his wife, that he wants to get married to me and on and on like that. So it was not a situation where he just wanted to see things. He wanted to see how things would go or where he, wanted to know what let's just have a relationship and know what will happen at the end no from the beginning he, he knew what he wanted and he was persistent about it and that was just one beautiful quality that i really 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 liked a great deal like it meant the world to me then and it sure does still mean the world to me now so if you know that something is for you or you want something or you desire something or you know that like i said something is yours be persistent, be patient. At the right time, it will happen for you. That's basically the first point. All right, so on to the second point around this. It happened to be one person in my life that saw beyond the surface. He saw the depth of my beauty. He saw me much more than I have seen anyone else see me. Do you understand? He saw me in a way that I couldn't describe. And he still sees me that way anyway. So when I'm saying he saw, I'm just trying to refer to that period of time. Like, he made me feel like, like I was the best thing that happened to him. Do you understand? In that regard. And and it meant, it, like it gave me a lot of assurance and a lot of hope about the future together with him. And I, just, I was just at peace. I was just, I had never been at so much peace. It was just such a beautiful thing, that aspect of him. So. There was no reason to have any doubts like if I eventually get married to him. I remember those times I used to ask him, I hope you will not change. I hope you, well, you, and he would say things like, even if I'm going to change it, it will be for the better. It will be for the better. And he kept on reassuring me of how much he loved me and will love me till the end of time. So the last point that I would like to make, even though I know there are so many other points that I can make and I don't want this video to be too long, is from my own 
point of view or from my so from my own end i realized that it's important that as individuals especially even ladies of if you don't want to be in a relationship with somebody let me just go straight on let me not say if you don't want something generally no but if you don't want to be in a relationship with somebody you don't have to dismiss them off in a way that makes them feel like they are not worthy of you or that makes it seem like oh please um, go somewhere else and all that and all that outside my husband i've had two other people who asked for my hand in marriage the other two i knew outrightly that i was not going to even consider but the manner of responding to such a situation has to be graceful has to be it shouldn't be degrading you shouldn't you shouldn't make someone somebody in such a situation feel like why did you even bother coming to meet me and things like that make them feel I, I remember praying for my husband telling him that I have seen how much he has put so much effort and wanted to ask my husband marry but I'm praying that God will give him the best wife she will be so amazing to him she will love him as much as he loves me and on and on. I prayed I remember that night in my room one time he called and i was praying and praying and praying and see i prayed myself into his life <laughs> so that's basically it don't just say okay because this person has come and that's not you don't think that's the person you want to be with or that's not the person for you that you just treat them anyhow no treat people with respect generally treat people kindly you don't know maybe in future you even if you don't eventually get married to them you may need each other for something else, for something greater that will bring glory to God's name or that will benefit you or them. So it's important that we are mindful how we treat other people. That's basically that ad about this story time slash lessons from this story time. I hope that you have learned a thing or two from these things that I have shared. Thank you so much for watching. If you really want me to talk about how we met, if you want us to share about it, to do a video together about it, let me know. So that it can motivate me and inspire me to do it as well one day. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take good care of yourselves. Bye.